What's going on, Feed the Beasters? JD here with another episode of JD Plays Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved on the Zekrit server. And we're getting ready to do some stuff. So, I've been working on some projects outside of the base, around the base. It's been a little slow going. Been doing some Fallout and some other stuff on my streams and getting some other Let's Plays together. But tonight, we're going to be going on a little adventure. And before we go, I wanted to kind of make some more cheese for cheeseburgers. I've got a bit of soy milk prepped for that, but I was running a bit low on salt. Now I can do the traditional water bucket in the pot, or I can make the water bucket into a fresh water and put that in the pot, and I'll get salt from that, and that's cool. But I like to automate things, so we're going to automate that process with a little construction of a little machine called a cyclic assembler. I don't use the cyclic assembler a lot, but it was suggested by Mr. Ultav from the stream, whose name you should be able to see right over here. I now have the stream chat loaded for you guys. By the way, when I'm responding to somebody on the stream, you can now see who it is and what they've said. So there's our cyclic assembler. It's two tin gears, two copper gears, a redstone reception coil, machine frame, and a chest. And this is a thermal expansion, so, you know, it does the usual thermal expansion dance. So we're going to need some power for it. We'll power it with... Uh, we'll give it some big time juice right here. I shouldn't need that many, but I just want to make sure the power will reach. And... We'll just bring the power to it right down here. And we'll set the assembler up right there. Okay, so we've got water coming in from the left. We should probably... Okay, that'll do. So there's our water. Like I said, I don't really use these things a lot. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work. Thanks, Aaron. I appreciate it. Craft recipe saved in sch Okay, so we're going to need schematics. So schematic, some paper, and some lapis. Okay, no problem. Let's go make some of that real quick. This reminds me of the old, uh, the old workbenches or whatever they were called that used saved recipes to schematics. All right. So, we'll take this. Now, do I have to make... There we go, okay. So we want to take... I guess we're going to need some water to start off. So we're going to borrow this water for a second. We'll put it back. Don't worry. Put this in here, and put this in here. And save that to the schematic. But we need a schematic first. So there's the schematic. Okay. Put that water back. Okay, so put the pot in. And look, we get salts for days. It's beautiful. It's going to destroy our water levels. <laughs> That's awesome. I probably need like 10 aqueous accumulators. But there's you a quick and easy way to automate your salt. I was going to do it a different way, but Old Tab suggested this, so I figured, you know, he's a cool guy. We'll do what he's asking. We'll try it. And we're just going to let that build up till I have 33 of them in there. One more. There we go. And we'll pull those out. Oh, and if you hold shift, it tells you what schematic is that? What the output of the schematic is going to be? Just so you're aware. And I think you can store the schematics down here. Yeah, you can. Okay. So with salt, and I think we need a saucepan. I could be wrong. Let's look. Cheese. Okay, you just use the same pot. Okay. So milk, salt. Yay, cheese. And now we can make all the salt we want. We can technically make all the milk we want because I get it from these soybeans. But 
We haven't automated farms yet. That's coming down the road. Good night, Aaron. Have a great evening. Now in here, I've got many, many bacon cheeseburgers waiting for consumption. And they're quite delicious. We're going to take these burgers right here that, and we're going to add cheese to them. And this turns them into cheeseburgers. So the next step would be to get bacon. And there's a few ways to do that. One is to actually go out and get, you know, kill some porky pigs. The other is to take these bad mamma jammas, such as this silken tofu right here, and turn this into. Let this build up. Dun, 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 and you get firm tofu. Now, firm tofu can replace any meat in any recipes. Well, in the majority of them. It can even become fish. And so that turns this into a bacon cheeseburger, which is pretty much the best food you're going to get in the game. There's a few others that are slightly better. Uh, there are two water sources uh, down there by the Aqueous Accumulator, Old Dev. Deluxe cheeseburger. So we could take lettuce and tomatoes. I think I've got some lettuce and tomatoes. Yeah, I got a bunch of them right here. I could, uh, I could use that up actually. Let's do I have tomato seeds somewhere in here before I do that. I think I made a bunch of tomato seeds, but I don't remember where they are. Poppy bean. Here's what we'll do. We'll put four of those down, and we'll grab. 40 of those and we'll just use these guys up right quick and there we go deluxe cheeseburgers right there so we have all kinds of cheeseburgers now we're just going to store them back in the bag and basically the way this I think I've shown the presser off before but soybeans themselves will become soy milk soy milk can be processed in the same machine to become uh, soft tofu. Soft tofu can then be processed to become firm tofu. The other thing this machine, it does a few other things. One of the things that I like to use it for is making paper. You can put oak logs in this. It will press it into paper for you. So it's a cheap, powerless method of making paper passively. That's a lot of freaking peas. I've got 12 tofu. I need cheeseburgers for it. Cheeseburgers. Go and there are some more baconators. We'll just add those to the pile. So we've got food to last us a significant amount of time, and that's cool. We're gonna put this pot up. We don't need it with us, so let's just stick it on the wall. All right. Now let's see where we're sitting, where we're sitting with items and equipment here for a minute, because we're gonna go on a bit of an adventure, and I still have some carrot juice as well. Uh, I've got my halo. Oh, we needed to craft something before we left here. Let's see. Do I have the stuff to do it? I don't think I have the stuff to make the mana tablet, but I need to make that soon. We need a warded jar, some reinforced slates, and for reinforced, we need to upgrade our blood altar to tier 2. And to do that, we need to make a bunch of blood runes, or speed runes. And blood runes were... Not hard to make. We need to make. I thought blood runes involved arcane stone. I guess I'm just silly like that. Oh yeah, they do. We need arcane stone on the blood altar. So we'll need to make some arcane stone if we want to do that. And if you remember arcane stone, not really difficult. We just go make it and down in the Thomcraft station. So I do want to knock that out real quick. I may already have some arcane stone in the thumb chamber actually. Let's go check. I still love looking at this matrix. It's awesome. So let's see. Do we have some arcane stone? We've got seven. We're going to need a significantly more than that. Uh, let's take the stone bricks. No, we'll just go get some stone real quick and we'll come back. And we'll throw in our thumb gear at that point. So let's go get some stone. Stack 064. And then we need Living Rock. Okay. And Batania. Do I have Living Rock stored down here? I've got a bit. I need a bunch more. I really need to automate my Batania stuff. I just haven't taken the time to do it. 
And remember, kids, turtles don't work in here anymore. Whoops. I probably should get some more pure daisies made. It would speed this process up as well. Okay, do we have living stone in here by chance that I left over? I'm not seeing any. Oh yeah, I do have a wand of equal trade. Thanks for reminding me, man. I forgot about that. We also have this miniature yellow heart. It means I can get my last little missing golden heart right there. May have to do that soon. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to need some of these bad mamma jammas, I think. Make sure. One of these recipes, they don't matter on the... Okay, yeah, we can do any color. Cool. So let's get... I don't know how many we're going to be able to make here. We can, looks like we can do 10. So we're going to do 10 of these. And I think all my wands are in here. My stone's converting right now, so that's cool. So here's my good wand, my Thaumium embossed Silverwood wand. And I actually want to end up turning that into... Or I want to get a second one of those because we need to... We've got some other stuff we need to do with Majory. This gold bandit is nice and full. Let's throw this in here. Let's get on our thumb. Oh, I'm, I've been meaning to do this as well. But, so now that I have it on stream, I will. So one trick, and I, I thought about doing this, but a user pointed out in the comments, so I'm definitely going to do it since somebody else decided to point it out as well. You can put your switches for your armor stands below them so that they're always active and out of sight. And now it doesn't, you know, it's, it's under it, so it doesn't matter. And I can still right click swap gear. So, nice little way to hide your switches if you want to, you know, put them down there. Okay, now we're going to have 10 of these. And we're going to have 10 of those. And then we're going to have 10 of these. And if you check the chat, Old Tab is giving you guys tips on what he likes to do. Probably, uh, yeah, that's a good method. You can also use autonomous activators. There's a lot of different ways. Um, what he's talking about is probably one of the most efficient ways. It's probably what I'll end up doing as well. So let's grab all this arcane stone out. That should get us good for a little bit on arcane stone. I'm sure we're going to need more as usual. How much of my wand did that kill? Not too terrible, actually. So we actually have a hungry node discovered that at some point I need to go capture and bring back and feed it gold for a while. That's part of why I reactivated my quarry so I could start building up gold stocks specifically so that I could feed it gold. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else I need from in here right now? I don't think so, but I'm probably wrong. So let's head back down to the blood and witchery chamber. Oh, I need my armor. That's what I need. Uh, because gold, from what I've seen in research, tends to upgrade it a lot faster and feeds it every aspect. I could feed it crafting tables. It doesn't really matter, I don't suppose. Just a lot slower, if I remember right. Could be wrong about that. I'm not a thom expert, by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, I do need one other thing from the warehouse. Yeah, if you feed it gold, it well, it's one of the best ways to upgrade it to a max, basically what's considered a super node. There is a certain thing. Oh, what's it from? Is it from Batania or is it from Thalm? I don't remember. It's a stone. It's little stone that heals you. Cannot remember its name right now. <laughs> what was the name of that stone? And I forget which mod pack it's in. Protocol. 
play shadow views and scribing. Hang on, let me check. So what I am looking for That's, yeah, the talisman of nourishment, I think, is what I'm looking for, actually, but it, could, it may not be. I need to look. Mm, no, that's not what I'm looking for. One second, guys, sorry. Anywho, doesn't matter. We're going to do this a different way for right now. I'm going to set that up later. I'll have to find where, where it was. For now, we're going to eat these guys, as usual, when I go to make blood. Alright. Let's grab this. So, right now, 5,000 LP. Okay. Let's put away this, this. And well, actually, we're going to need these. So, grab those. And those. And for now, we can put this away and this away. Grab that and that. Okay, let's bleed a little bit. Yay, it's full. Okay. Alright, hearts are full. Now, we want to make blood runes, which means basically we just take these, we're, we have to make these blank slates first, we just need to put arcane stones on here for a thousand LP each, boom. So we'll make ten of them to get started. We need eight blood runes, so we're going to need sixteen of these. Oh, they don't stack. Oh, they do stack. Okay. You just have to grab them with an open hand. Yes, I... I I've seen ways to automate the blood reproduction. I haven't tried it because I'm still really new to blood magic, but I know you can automate it. We may have to look into that down the road.
Making the, making the, making the blood runes. Yeah. All right. Making progress. Three more. Alright, so, blood runes, we're going to need some shards, we're going to need some waystones, some stone, and our blood orb, blood orb is here, we're going to go ahead and refill the, whoops, I actually meant to turn the config off so I can make that back into a dagger, but I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, we've got this guy. Good. Let's go grab some shards from the thumb chamber right quick. Uh, we'll take, I don't know, half this pile. No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And we need to go get flint and a bone needle. I have a bone needle somewhere. I don't know where they went though. Wait, that was was that our recipe? Yeah, that's our recipe. What did I do with that bone needle? I don't know. There's some waste stones right there. I made a bunch last time. Okay. So I've got waste stones. Do I have stone? I have stone. Okay. So. What am I? Oh, I, yeah. Okay. Blood orb, magic stuffs, other magic stuffs, more magic stuffs, but it says no. It says hell no, we won't go because this is not the right thing right down there. That's where the shard goes. Shards. Okay. And I needed two more shards because I'm a, no, no, no. This this is right. I only need eight. So bam, there's our eight blood runes. I'm not as herp derp as I thought I was. So with these eight blood runes, we're going to do a little lumber chopping. And that upgrades our tier to a tier 2 altar. Although its capacity did not change at all. That's, I guess it doesn't for tier 2. Okay, so to make the mana tablet, which is what we want, we need reinforced slate. To get reinforced slate, we need to put blank slate on here and get, for 2000 LP, we get reinforced slate. We're going to need two of those and then a bunch of runes. Okay, so as Ultab says, down in the bottom corner, you can see capacity changes based on runes you place. I know speed runes like speed up something, and then there's there's other types of runes. There you go. These guys know magic. I don't. 
All right, so let's make a couple more slates. There's one. Let's put those back on there and we'll get our super slates. Let's bleed a little while we wait. Alright, there's a reinforce number one. Let's get the second one made. Okay, there's number two. Let's leave the blood stuff here. Drop all that off. And we are headed to the Batania room, I believe. So, we need a water jar. I think I have that either in the warehouse or in the thalm room. There we go, water jar. Only one in one of you. And then in the Batania garden, now we're going to need some runes, air, earth, mana, fire, water. Okay. I have all of them except for mana, as usual. For mana, we need a balanced shard and then a bunch of mana steel st or mana infused stuff. So the mana steel right here, mana pearl, no problem, mana diamond, no problem. I thought I still had some balanced shards. Let me go check the thumb room. We can make some if we don't, but I thought I had some. Not seeing any balanced shards. Okay, so we'll have to make some balanced shards right quick. Let's go to the warehouse real quick and grab some quartz. I think I used gunpowder, chiseled stone, and something else to make my three balanced shards. Sugar cane, that's it. Chiseled stone brick, sugar cane, and uh, one gunpowder. So, let's change clothes right quick. I don't think we need to change clothes, but just to be safe. So, I've already got the stuff to make that in here because I've noticed I've had to make those several times. So, there should be some gunpowder right there. Good. And then I think for balance shards you need a specific one. Yeah, yellow. So we're going to get three out of this. Is there water in here? Nope. We need our bucket. From our water source right here. So let's pour some water in there. And then we'll do... bubbling it always eats the last one for some reason when I do this I haven't quite figured that out yet <laughs> Good enough for me. It worked like the first several times I did it, but lately every time I do it, it always eats one of them from me. But it works, whatever. We can go make a mana run now. Did I grab that crystal? I did, okay. So, great wand, sit back over here. Grab this, port to the Batania Garden. And we're going to want to do... We're going to do these, these, these. We're going to want to throw... Why is my mana so low? Right there. Oh, I need to go back in here for just a second and get the correct clothing back on.
give it back my clothes. So we're going to make something else right quick here on the fly. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get my tool bag. I think my tool bag is in that bag, actually. What's up, kill man? All right, so let's drop off some of these tools we're not using right now into the tool bag. I'll open up our inventory just a little bit more. All right, I got six, seven, eight, nine. So what we're going to do with those is we're actually going to put them in here and turn them into handy dandy blaze lamps. The reason being, these burn for 24,000 versus 2,400. Just a nice compact way to store. That's the only reason we're doing it. Botania Garden. And let's hop up here. Drop those bad man pajamas in there. And kick that sucker on. So these flowers should start consuming those soon. If they don't, then I'm going to know not to make those anymore. There they go. Okay, so they're getting eaten now. And these things are going to burn for a very long time. But I would like it to only handle one at a time. Let's see if we can correct that. I'm not sure why that's happening, why it's dropping two at a time. Anyway, we'll mess with that more later. Uh, I need this piece of this back right quick. So we're going to drop that in the mana pool right there. That's going to give us that piece. Now we want to drop this, 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 this. And the balance shard, one of them, on here. We're going to need our Batania wand. So we'll get that started. It's filling mana into it now. Starting that rune production for the mana rune. I really am interested to know why. I may need to bring that down closer so that the redstone signal doesn't get sent for as, quite as long. so that it doesn't drop two at a time. I mean, it's not like it costs me anything I can't afford by any means. I've still got 66,000 blaze rods and I can get as many as I want more, but... Alright, this guy looks like he's done, he's done, so we're going to need a piece of living stone. Should have gotten out my wand of equal replacement. But I didn't. Because I'm lazy. And then it actually ended up making me do more work. Being lazy. Alright. So we're going to take this. Throw it on there. Smack it. Ah, it fell off. What the hell? And there's our rune of mana. So now one of each of the other runes. Back over to here. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so that should be the recipe. Clicky clicky. Mana tablet is being crafted right now. Oh, 
Oh, that's going to take a while. So we'll have to come back and check on this in a while. Because that ain't going to be finishing up anytime soon. So while we're waiting on that, we're going to go get some other stuff done. Heck yeah, buddy. Hold on, I want to test this. Let's grab some more stone. And my wand should be right here. Now this wand is the one that I have to focus on for equal trade. And if, I, if you notice, I moved my wand, uh, I think they call it a wheel, down at the bottom left so we can actually see it a lot better now. Now if I remember right, I'm supposed to shift right click this. Or something like that. Is that I forgot how this works. Oh, I need to put this down first. There we go. Yeah, magical. But I don't want to do it to this. That's probably not going to be safe at all. Because that will probably convert my lovely little uh, terrestrial agglomeration unit for converting Terra Steel. But that one works good. We'll just have to, we'll have to transfer this somewhere. So that's sexy. Sexy stuff. Oh no, I just broke a mana pool. All that mana lost. Oh, bad move. Bad play, JD. Bad play. Oh well, such is life. Fortunately, mana's free. We can make more. Okay, so anyways, yeah. If you look at this, the timer on this is going to take a significant chunk of time. Probably about an hour or so. So we'll come back and check on this a bit later. Um... How long? What time are we at for the? Uh, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. For the recording here. Properties. We started about 38 minutes ago, so we're gonna call that the end of this episode. And don't worry, we're gonna come straight back and record the next one because we've got stuff to do, and I haven't been recording episodes lately, so I need to build up some content. So. You're probably starting to see a few of my generic intros and outros because of how long some of my episodes are getting. But those are mostly just recorded because I'm going to look at starting to kind of change the play style of, or the, the format of how I do my videos. Either way, as of the time of this recording, which is what, like Thursday night, December the 10th, um, I'm almost at 200 subs, guys. I really appreciate that. That's freaking awesome. My goal right now is to hit 250 before Christmas. With y'all's help, I should hopefully get there. And we're up to 120 followers on the stream. I'm still streaming every night. Uh, still got a, a good little group of dudes that are getting on and hanging out with me. A couple of dudettes. If you're somebody that needs the recognition between male and female. <laughs> uh, playing a lot more games. We've done some Fallout. We've done some uh, Medieval 2 Total War. We've done... Uh, Undertale and you know I'm gonna be doing a bit more of a smattering of what I stream as well as adding additional let's plays soon so hopefully everybody's enjoying it if you did hit that like button for me and if you do like it definitely subscribe I would greatly appreciate it It helps me it keeps me going it's why I do this well I do this to entertain you guys but you know knowing that I'm entertaining you is why I do it even if you don't want to like and subscribe leave me a comment why didn't you like it why didn't you subscribe let me know help me fix it you guys have a great evening. I'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy.